All right, it's a quick uh, solar flare mini 12,000 unboxing. Kind of give you a quick idea on operation too. So it comes in our uh, hard sided pad case. Nice, compact, easy to fit everything in. You've got your charger. You've got an optional ball mount, which I'll screw on right here instead of the YS. This is for the vacuum port to vacuum seal it. It's just like a check valve. You've got a manual battery cap, spare O-rings, Allen key for attaching the ball, O-ring removal tool, and uh, some spare uh, bumper O-rings for the front and the back. That's the uh, standard AC power cord for the power adapter. This is the pump for the vacuum port. You have the light here. So it does come with a uh, neoprene cover for the dome, help you from scratching, help prevent from scratching it up. So here's the battery. To charge it, you simply plug into that port right there. Put the DC mini plug on the charger. So these contacts always go up towards facing the head. And you'll see we have a double O-ring seal on here. This also is removable. This uh, YS ring here, this whole mounting ring. You take the head off, you just slide it up off the, uh, off the tailpiece. And you can take it off if you need to. Uh, on the uh, mount here too, you can see these holes. These are for a lanyard if you want to tether it to your rig in case you're worried about losing it, so it's safe. So when you turn on the light, you just press and hold both buttons. You'll see it lights up here with a uh, kind of like a red and blue. Kind of turns it purple. That's just saying it's unlocked. It's ready to be turned on. You can turn it on if you want. You just tap the uh, left button once. All it does is adjust intensities. There's no other modes in this light. It's just uh, floodlight only for video. So you can see it's working fine. Um, same features as uh, most of our other lights. If you want to put it to uh, sleep, just press and hold the left button. You can see it's still lit up here, meaning it's unlocked, it's ready to go. Just press and hold the left button again, it comes on same power level. Press and hold the right button. You can see it's now flashing rapidly. That means it's in strobe mode. So if you link it to your camera with the burst port here with the fiber optic cable, this will now strobe at, uh, I believe it's 15,000, 14,000 lumens um, burst mode. So it'll fire like a strobe. Uh, you can adjust the intensities that it does fire at in the strobe mode also and then when it's when it's just waiting to strobe but it, it kind of sits at a focus light level it's not super bright but it does give the camera enough light to focus properly take it out of that you just press and hold the right button so if you want to turn it all the way off just press and hold now it's all the way off it's locked again so pressing these buttons won't do anything turn it on Press and hold both again. See it's lit up. Now I'll show you the vacuum sealing function. So you just take the cap off the vacuum port at the back here. Screw on your check valve. Now if you watch the battery elevator, you can see it blinking. It blinked rapidly, and that's as you're pulling the seal, and now it's just blinking the same all the time. Just a slow blink. That means it's vacuum sealed, safe, 
you're ready to go use it. So you take off your check valve, screw on the cap, and you're ready to go. Now to remove the to remove the vacuum real easy, just press the release valve there. There's an overpressure relief port here. And if you look on the bottom up here by the uh, two ports, one that top one's the burst port, the bottom one's a remote port. We do have an optional remote control that will let you control two of these, up to two of these lights at a time, um, all right from the uh, right from your camera rig. You don't have to reach up and adjust the, the lights independently, especially if they're further away. The remote makes it really easy. Uh, we will have a, a video on our uh, website about the remote too.